Hey guys, this is Triggs, and today in this tutorial we're going to be learning how to make this really nice, clean, professional video outro. Now this can be used at the end of your videos, and you can put links to your previous videos and your newest videos, and then you can put a subscribe link and any other things you want on here. So, we're going to go right into Photoshop, and we're going to start out by creating a new canvas of 1280 by 720 and then we're going to take a dark gray I'm using 26, 26, 26, so if you want to follow along with that. And then once you have your gray, we're going to go to our text tool. I'm using Typograph Pro as my font. You can find that online for free. And then we're going to type, thanks for watching. Make sure you have your color for your text set to white. Alright, and then go to your bottom layer, and we're going to create a ruler in the center. And if you don't have those, go to View go to rulers and then you can just drag one over so for our text we're going to want to center that up bring it up a little bit and then go into your layer styles we're going to go to a gradient put the opacity at 75 and then go into the gradient style drag it down to 70 and then put another gradient at the top and then we're just going to put a light gray on that one looks good and then go to drop shadow make sure the angles at 90 degrees with global light distance of 2 and then size of 7 looks good okay then we're gonna create another text layer and I'm just gonna put hope you enjoyed and you can put whatever text you want for this doesn't really matter it's just your preference what the video is about anything like that so make that a little bit smaller and then just drag that up all right it's looking good already now we're gonna go to the main part which is the video boxes so go to your rectangle tool make a new layer and then we're gonna create a rectangle about that size and then rasterize it and then make a little bit of a lighter gray and then just fill that in and then we're going to go right to the layer styles. Go to gradient. Go to your gradient palette. Drag the bar down to 70. And then all the way at 100. Put it to black. And then we're just going to bring the opacity down. I'm going to do it at 50. And then you can just adjust the colors to your liking. I like it a little bit darker so that looks good and then we're gonna add a stroke to this as well size of two then fill type is gradient and then angle at 90 and then go into your gradient options at the left make it white go to 50 percent make it gray about that and then bring this top bar down to 80 and then the far right, put a light gray. That looks perfect. And then set that to reflected. And then go to drop. Nope, we're going to use outer glow. Set the color to black. Blend mode normal. Size 15 and opacity 30. Alright, that looks awesome. Then we're just going to duplicate that layer, drag it over to the other side, right about there, and then go to your line tool, it's under the rectangle tool, make sure your color is at white, make a new layer, and we're going to drag a line to about halfway the length of the video box. Then rasterize that, and then go to your eraser, and we're just going to erase part of that line, that looks good. Duplicate that, Control J or Command J, transform, flip horizontal, drag across, make sure they're lined up perfect. Good. Then we're gonna group those layers, Control E, make sure it's centered, and then copy that layer, drag it down, and then highlight both the layers. Right click, duplicate layers, okay. Then hold Shift, drag them over to the right looks good and then at the bottom 
this is the tricky part, but it's easy if you follow along. So make a new layer. Go to your line tool again, and we're going to put a line across this bottom right here. Rasterize it. Copy that layer, and then you're going to want to bring that down one. So use your arrow keys, bring it down one. Go into the layer styles, color overlay, make the color black, click OK, then right click on that layer, convert to smart object, right click, rasterize, and then group those two lines together, control E, set them. To overlay and bring the opacity down to 60 all right that looks good and if you can't see that I'll just zoom in and there's a line right there so that looks good now we're gonna make kind of a shadow so go to your brush make sure it's at a hundred percent make a new layer and then just drag it along that line while you're holding shift and then go to your blending option, go to overlay, elliptical mark, nope, just uh, regular marquee, then delete that. And then go into layer styles. I'm going to put a pattern on it. This is up to you what pattern you use, but I like a pattern. I think it looks good. And bring the opacity down to 30. Alright, that looks good. And you can just mess around with the opacity to your liking. And then we're just going to make some more text down here. Size 30. Please subscribe to my channel. Alright, and then just copy that layer style from the previous text. And paste it on there. Right click, paste layer style. Let's duplicate that layer now just for time's sake I'm just gonna leave them like that and then what we're gonna do is for the behind the background go down and then your layers make a new layer on top of your gray get a brush of 600 pixels make sure it's a soft brush and then go to the middle and click it then hold shift drag out your color and then blend mode to overlay and then we're gonna add the pattern on that one as well alright that looks pretty awesome so now we're all set just adjust it to your liking and yeah there you go so you have a really nice video outro and this will look really good on any videos you do you can always change the colors to what you like so Hope you like this video, please leave a like, please favorite, leave a comment what you want for the next tutorial. And um, yeah, please tell others to subscribe and hope you guys have a good time. See you later.